What's up guys? Welcome to another epic episode, blah blah blah. Uh, maybe you can tell, it's evening, it's uh... Actually, it doesn't look too dark on the camera. Um, but it's about 8 o'clock in the evening. We're going to do another evening hunt today, guys. Uh, heading over to Walmart. i uh, got to pick up a few last-minute grocery items for Stephen's birthday party tomorrow. Um, but I uh, figured we would look around and see what they got. Let's go. So, I don't know if they still have their clearance going on. Uh, for the action figures and stuff. I don't know. I try to shop here as little as possible, so I'm not in on the loop. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I figured maybe they'll have something I want. And if I'm really lucky, maybe it's on clearance. <laughs> Let's go see. All right, well, standing here, looking down the aisle, I don't know, maybe. Maybe they have something <laughs> decent. I don't know. Let's look and see. What's this? Jurassic World. Nooks. Um, okay. Here's some TMNT. Let's see. Eight bucks. That's not bad. I guess. All right. Ninja shouts. Try me. Pull my leg. Pull my arm or leg. Uh, what does he do? I don't know. Oh, I guess you got to remove that tag. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Eight bucks. That's not too bad, I guess. Get some Transformers. Well, at least they have something different in their uh, clearance section today. Got some more Nerf guns. Got some Wakanda Forever. Imagine X Joker thing. There's this dude. I've seen him a couple times. That's not a bad price 16 bucks for him he's pretty cool and then we got this big tyrannosaurus rex he's awesome 229 eh. i don't know that one's a good deal for 16 though uh, here's another transformer six bucks for a rhinox that's not bad uh we got some mission fleet i got some more transformers those are 11 um and some mando helmets yeah, we got uh, Lando on sale for 20 bucks. <laughs> Still not nearly no low enough, but uh, you know, 20 bucks. Got a skateboard for 26. And uh, oh, look at that! They lowered the price on this to 19. That's cool. A little Mario Kart, Mario Kart sitting here for 9.50. It's not a bad price. Got a Johnny Lightning Scrabble truck for three bucks. That's interesting. I wonder what the significance is of a Scrabble truck. 1999 International Cargo Truck. Huh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, got some Bakugan for eight bucks. That's kind of cool. Uh, AEW Ortiz for 11. Uh, poor Ortiz. Oh, look, here's a uh, Nokia for $22. Holy crap. Well, we were doing okay until we got to the Nokia. <laughs> here's some Eternals for $10. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Same old NECA aliens for $30. Ah. Yeah, these Micro Galaxy Squadron things are still $25. Bucks. That's crazy. The Young Jedi Adventures for $11. That's not bad. And we got a big old Nerf Fortnite gun down here. Lola. Over there. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. That's about it for uh, the clearance aisle. We'll go back and look at the toy aisle. See if they have anything back there. It's uh, Honeybee Acres. <laughs> oh, that thing's, that thing's funky looking. Treasure X Dino. Oh, Ten bucks interesting all right well they did do a little bit of remodeling in this store man they got this music so freaking loud back here so we're going to be doing some talking over some cutting in and out of the video there's a couple of clearance tags right there some transformers look at this big godzilla down here that's pretty cool 
That thing is huge. We got Godzilla versus Kong stuff. We got uh, turtles, all kinds of turtles. We got a kid coming on a bicycle. <laughs> Let me move out of his way. Guys, I gotta tell you, I've seen these fugglers several times now, and I just kinda like them, <laughs> honestly. I mean, Leonardo not so much, but Donatello, uh, I don't know, I think he's kinda cool. He's only seven bucks, I might have to grab him. So in the Marvel section back here, we got this Iron uh, Marvel Studios Iron Man. That's a really cool figure. I like that a lot. Uh, we got some MJ, some Avengers. I mean, uh, yeah, Avengers, I guess. Um, some loud music still going. Some Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Let's go look at the Star Wars stuff down here. All right, guys, I am like literally right underneath the speaker. <laughs> These new uh, Star Wars figures are interesting. I don't think they have much articulation, but uh, you know, for eight bucks, they're decent. Uh, there's Paz Vizsla, that one looks cool. We got Ahsoka. Uh, we do have some Black Series figures. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, man. This music is blasting back here. Uh, yeah, Hera and Morlando. Guys, they have tons of Eddie Kingston back here. Uh, look at this, this is cool. Penta, look at this new Penta Supreme. That's pretty awesome, I haven't seen this. That is pretty freaking cool, man. I like that a lot. So they also have this new Mayavia Legacy three pack, Hype Chief Peter Mayavia, The Rock and Rocky Johnson, that's awesome, but for 70 bucks, holy crap. Look at this though, they also have a couple of Hogan's back here. That's surprising. Uh, Trish, Trish, some basics, yeah, that's about it. Guys, these Zelda figures are pretty cool, look at this. I think my friend uh, Avian showed these on his link, uh, his link, his channel. Uh, there's Link, um, Super Monkey Ball, I don't know anything about that. But these are cool, those Link figures. There's some Diddy Kong. And some Donkey Kong up there. And guys, I'm not gonna show a ton of Legos, but uh, I just always like to look at the uh, the Star Wars and the Batman Legos. Um, not a whole lot of different stuff here. They usually have the same stuff. These are on clearance for seven bucks, that's not bad. Um, yeah, that ship there's cool for 80. Millennium Falcon for 85. I still would love to have that, but 85 bucks is just a little too steep for me. Um, they also have the Star Destroyer, which is awesome. Uh, I think the Batman stuff is over here. Yep. Still got this uh, Batwing, which is cool. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for Batman. Oh, look, there's a Batmobile. That's a cool one. Well, back here in the uh, collectible section, looks kind of like business as usual. I like that male alien from They Live. That's kind of cool. Um, there's some NECA Shredder. Uh, some Mortal Kombat. Some uh, Gremlins. Um, some more Gremlins down here. <laughs> yeah, looks like kind of, uh, like I said, business as usual. Not a lot of clearance left. What was here? Horror or something. Oh, look at that. Creep show. That's cool. Killer clown. That's awesome. Oh, look at this. I found some G.I. Joe Ultimates back here. Got Coco. That's pretty cool. Got two of them. $54. That's awesome. I have not seen that yet. It's pretty cool. I don't know about $55 cool, but cool. There's my NECA ET figures. <laughs> I know you'll never go on sale, but I'm waiting on you. One of these days, one of these days I'll find it for cheaper than 35 bucks. I do want these. I just don't want to pay $35 for them. So guys, that was my Walmart last night. It's actually the next day today. Um, but uh, yeah, not, not a bad trip. Um, I actually was really surprised. 
that they had some new stuff in the clearance section, new, you know, decent prices on some of it. Um, I, I was like this close, this close to buying that pizza van, the, the turtle van, uh, for 19 bucks. But, you know, I'm really trying to, um, stick with just vintage toys now. Uh, there are a few lines that I'm collecting modern stuff, uh, Star Wars Black Series, um, Motu, and Wrestling are the, uh, the, the three or four lines that uh, maybe maybe G.I. Joe classified. Again, I haven't really decided on that, but uh, anything else, I'm just trying to stick to strictly vintage stuff. So I uh, I did pass on the, on the van, the pizza van, uh, this close though. Uh, I did grab one of those Fugglers. It's actually in the other room. I didn't think to grab it before. Uh, started the video here, but uh, I got the Donatello Fuggler to add to my collection. Um, but yeah, not a bad trip to Walmart. Um, I just wanted to real quickly uh, show you guys a couple things that came in the mail this week. Um, got some good stuff. Let me show you. So guys, I got uh, this monstrosity in the mail this week. This was actually sent to me by a whatnot seller. It is brand new. It is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Super 7 Ultimate of Leatherhead. Um, as you can see, it's still sealed in the bag, never been opened. Um, I actually ordered something off of Whatnot for a really good deal, and this is what I actually ordered. This came a day after this did. This one came first. I'll show you this first. Um, so I ordered a, this <laughs> off of Whatnot for $10, bucks, um, and I got this in the mail. I opened it up, and I was like, what in the world? Uh, so I contacted the seller and apparently he sent me the wrong item. Um, I offered to ship it back to him and, uh, he was like, you know what? Just keep it. It's not that big of a deal. I have another one. I'll send, send it out to the guy that actually bought this. Um, and you can keep that. So that was very nice of him. Um, the thing is though, I don't actually collect modern Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't collect, um, Super 7 Ultimates. So, this, guys, is currently listed on my eBay store. If anyone is interested in it, um, check that out. It's J Philly Retro Toys on eBay. Or if you're interested and you want to make a trade or something, you know, send me an email, jphillyretrotoys at gmail.com. Um, or on Instagram, jphillyretrotoys. <laughs> Just send me a message. Uh, we'll work something out if you guys, uh, if anybody's interested in that. So this was sent to me by mistake. Um, the dude let me keep it. And then the next day he actually shipped me the thing that I, that I actually bought for $10, which is this awesome Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Knight, uh, red box black series figure. Uh, pretty cool. Hello there. <laughs> terrible, terrible Obi-Wan impersonation, but the figure is really cool. This is, uh, was a steal for 10 bucks guys. Uh, if you don't know about, you know, Black Series, this is a pretty good deal for $10. Uh, still sealed, factory sealed and everything. So I was excited to have that. I'm doubly excited to have both of these. But again, this one I don't really need. So if anybody's interested, let me know. So I also picked up um, another little bundle of toys from another seller. Uh, all smalls. It was basically like a little claim sale. He was just going rapid fire through this big tub of small toys and Happy Meal toys and stuff like that that he had acquired. Um, and he was selling them, I think it was like five for $2 or five for $3, something like that. Um, so I picked out five things that I claimed, five things that I wanted. Um, pretty cool stuff. Let me show you guys. So, yeah, this dude had a ton of, like, Happy Meal toys and stuff like that. This is the only one I grabbed that isn't a Happy Meal toy. This is an actual Nintendo Mattel car, like a die-cast. The car is die-cast. Bowser is plastic. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I like the chrome bumpers, the wheels. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to give this dude to my friend Avian. He, uh, he collects Nintendo stuff, and um, I still have a box to ship him, so I'm just going to probably throw that in his box. Uh, these two right here I had never seen before. These are from 1990, um, Captain Planet vehicles. Like, they're, they're reversible. Like, obviously, this side has Captain Planet, and then you can actually, like, pop these up 
And I think this is like a bad guy on this side or something. It's kind of hard. They're really kind of difficult to push. There we go. Um, but yeah, they're like a reversible car. Um, as you can see, this was made for Burger King um, in 1990. So I don't even know who these guys are. I wasn't a huge Captain Planet fan as a kid. Um, not that it, anything wrong with it. I just didn't really didn't really watch it that much. So, but uh, as an adult, definitely wanted some Captain Planet kids meals toys. Again, this dude, uh, same line um, from Burger King, but I don't know any of the names. I just thought it was kind of cool. And then this pops up to reveal this guy right here. Again, these are really, really hard to push up. Um, I'm assuming that's probably a good guy and that's probably a bad guy. So, uh, got a Burger King Beetlejuice toy. Uh, a lot of us are probably pretty familiar with these, um, Burger King toys from the Beetlejuice cartoon. Uh, pretty cool. I think that was dated 1990. And then I also grabbed this little hobgoblin um, flying vehicle. <laughs> uh, this is from, I think it says 1995. Yeah, 1995. So I just thought they were pretty cool. Um, I had these to my, you know, my smalls collection. So guys, those were my mail call pickups for the week and the weekend. Um, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Whatnot, I'm telling you, uh, if you want a code for some free money off of Whatnot, hit me up. Send me a message on Instagram. I'll send you a free code that you can use um, where you will get free stuff. And I think I get like five bucks if you use my code. So uh, hit me up. I'll give you my Whatnot code. Um, anyway, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Um, yeah, just a quick video today. Uh, like I said, last night, we're getting ready for Steven's birthday party today. His birthday was actually last weekend, uh, but we're having his 18th birthday party today. So uh, I'm going to go get ready for that. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you later on.